The most fascinating thing I think about what we discovered is that there are these dislocations in these battery particles and not only can you see them in the full three-dimensional detail but you can also see them move as you charge and discharge the battery and then the this idea that you can use these dislocations to probe the local uh, properties of, of the specific particle that you're looking at uh, that's something that's not possible with any other technique. So there are a couple challenges for today's batteries. One of them is coming up with batteries that can operate at high voltages and uh, you need high voltages for any high power applications for like electric vehicles and this type of cathode is indeed a high voltage um, cathode so it can operate at very high voltages and uh, with other materials, there's a lot of problems when they operate at high voltages, and we think that the property that we discovered in this material may be related to its, uh, its unique ability to operate at higher voltages. The experiments are done at a national lab, and in particular we use Argonne National Lab, which has the ad advanced photon source. This experiment relies on a very special type of x-rays and we shine these x-rays onto a uh, battery coin cell and then our detector basically detects the relative atom uh, locations of, a, uh, of the atoms in a particular nanoparticle as we can charge and discharge the battery. The main summary of our study is that uh, heavy cycling in batteries tends to induce these dislocations, which we were able to observe for the first time in, a, in an operating battery. And we use these dislocations to determine uh, properties of a particular cathode, which is a high voltage cathode and is very relevant for uh, high power applications such as electric vehicles. And we think that using this type of cathode in other types of materials could help make higher voltage and higher power batteries for the future.